Next up, Brad. Uh, Garling House disses Bitcoin's energy use in advance of Biden administration. So this is a quick one. I always think it's kind of funny. Uh, so <laughs> Ripple CEO Brad Garling House thinks corporations converting cash to Bitcoin can be making a costly mistake as a more environmentally conscious Biden administration takes the White House in January. And basically, this is what he says. He, he squares out. He, he squares out. He singles out Square as one company that may want to pay attention to new federal guidelines that could get rolled out as soon as Biden takes office. And he says the, pretty much the same thing about MicroStrategy. At first, he was like, hey, good job, Michael Saylor, for you know making that switch. Now he's like, well, I don't know, because you know he's a lot of energy, and Joe Biden's going to come in. He's going to, you know, he's really big on uh, the environment. And I'm like, man, I thought I was a wet blanket. <laughs> Look at Brad. So if Brad's really concerned about the environment, well, let me say it like this. <clears throat> so if Brad's concerned about these companies being ousted by the Biden administration because he's going to renewable energy, you have no far, no farther to look than layer one. Layer one is based in uh, West Texas, where I'm at over in El Paso. It's not in El Paso. It's somewhere in uh, Western Texas. But they have the lowest cost of energy, which is weird uh, because it is so ungodly hot over there, which is something you don't want to have for mining rigs. But uh, the cost is so low uh, because they won, they submerge their units in some type of mineral oil, and two, they get super cheap energy because it's all wind powered, it's super windy over there. So that's a renewable energy source. I think they'll be all right. On top of that, we covered a story about how Brad also said that uh, if the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, if he had a million dollars in Bitcoin and he wanted to reverse a tra transaction, he could do it because there were so many miners in China. And we just talked about this for like five minutes in this video. I'll link at the very end. But basically it was like this. Yes, there's a lot of mining pools in China, but the miners themselves are all over the world and they can connect to any mining pool that they want to. So if uh, China wanted to do a 51% attack, that would be very bad for business for a miner. Because uh, if that happens and it destroys the whole system, then the miners are out of business. So why would they do that? Makes no sense. Anyhow, it's just a quick little article. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.